Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Pa uh, part of This is part of my YouTube career redemption thingy. Um, today we're going to be talking about how I may or may not be getting an iPhone XR product Reddit edition. Now, my phone right now is this. It is an Android. It's got a few scratches on it. It is made by... It may not seem like an M, but it is. Me U, it's called a Mi U Note 2, and my big brother Easy gave this to me. It's a pretty good phone, but I kind of wanted to switch to um, uh, iOS for a couple of reasons. One, the camera is kind of whack, and it's not really good. Obviously, that's probably like the least concerning thing. Two, I've always wanted like an iOS phone, like an iPhone, because I've always thought like it was like so much better. Than Android, Androids are good, but I I seem I like look at iOS as like a little bit better. Um, and it's this thing is kind of slow, like a little bit sometimes. Like when it dies and then I have to charge it, it like it's really like laggy and slow. So yeah, I just want to switch to uh, iOS. This video is gonna kind of be like um, uh, what I want to see on my Hatsune Miku plush, and. I'm gonna just like say what to expect, where I might get it, what plan I'm gonna use, stuff like that. So let's get to it. If you guys don't know what the iPhone XR is, it's Apple's not newest. It released uh, last year in September or October. Um, it was part of their like kind of lineup. It was the iPhone XR, iPhone XS, and iPhone XS Max. And the XR is like. Uh, um, it's, it's got, like, a bunch of, like, color designs to it, so it's, like, really cool. And it's basically the same thing as the XS and the XS Max, except the display is called Liquid Retina, and then with the XS Max, the display is, uh, Super Retina, I believe. And same thing with the XS. So it's basically the same thing, except the displays are different and the camera's different. If you don't know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. So this is the phone. This is actually the product red edition color. It looks really, really, really nice. Yeah, that's the phone if you didn't know what it looks like. It looks really, really gorgeous with that uh, nice red color. But the thing is, like the, it's, I think it's less durable than the X, X, uh, X, S and the Ma uh, XS Max. Um, they're both, they both have the front end glass, like the, uh, they're, like, the front and back of the phone is made of glass, but, like, the rims is, like, made of, for the XR, it's made of aluminum, and for the XS and the XX Ma XS Max, it's, uh, made of stainless steel. And I think, uh, stainless steel is a little bit more durable than aluminum, um, from what I've seen and heard. Um, but they're both really, really nice phones. My mom actually does have an XS Max. And it's freaking huge. Like, it's like, it's almost the size of this phone, except a little bit bigger. So it's really hard to play games on it and stuff, because, like, you have to, like, stretch your hands. For, like, a kid, of course. For an adult, I think it would be a little bit easier, but for a kid, it's, like, really, like, really large. Um, and yeah, so the XR is the one I'm getting, because it's a little bit cheaper at $750, whereas the XS is a thousand and the XS Max is a thousand five hundred thousand six hundred um but if I get like the 128 gigabyte plan that's only an extra fifty dollars so it's eight hundred so it's actually not that bad it's still expensive but it's not as expensive as the other phones um and it looks like it's a pretty premium looking phone and like as like, I'm probably gonna I don't know if I'm gonna buy it at Market Mall or like at the store, or if I'm gonna buy it online. I feel like at the store, it's a little bit better, but then I always fear that's like the colors out of stock, and then I have to get like the blue edition. The blue edition is not that bad, but I wanted the I want the red one. And uh, yeah, I've always worried that it they become out of stock, or like they just like sold out, I guess. Um, and ordering it online, I mean. It's not, it's not a bad idea, but I don't really like ordering online because it takes a while and you could just like go to the store, feel the phone, see how you like it, and then come back with the phone in your hands. Whereas online, um, it could be like scratched or like scuffed or something like that. 
Not with Apple, though, because Apple would, like, probably, like, just make sure it's all okay. And they put it in the box and stuff like that. But, honestly, I don't really like... I mean, I don't really like ordering online, but that's just my opinion. Um, so, yeah. So, oh, Move to iOS, don't mind the different shirt. Move to iOS is an app that allows you to transfer your data from your Android to your iOS, uh, to your new phone or iPad. And it's actually really cool. It looks really promising. It was made by Apple. Um, the app, I think this is actually the first um, app that was made by Apple on the Google Play Store, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so it says, use this app to copy messages, photos, and more from this Android phone to a new iPhone or iPad. Then you continue, and then you accept the terms and conditions, and then it'll tell you to find your code, which will be dis uh, which will be on your iPhone or iPad when you do like the setup when you first get it. And then you put the code in here, and then you'll choose what data you want to move to the phone, or to yeah, to your new phone. I believe it moves apps as well, which is really cool because I got like a ton of games on this, so it's gonna be really nice. And so basically what's going to go down, how it's going to happen, is I'm going to take my iPad and record at the at the Apple Store and like record the stuff and like like we'll show you like what the phone is like and yeah. I'm going to do an unboxing and I might record the setup as well. And then from then on, I'm going to start recording on that phone because the camera quality is way better than this. The camera quality on this is okay, but the, fo the camera quality on that, since it can shoot 4K HD, is really good. But that eats up storage, but it's fine because I might get a better gigabyte plan than the 64 gigabytes. But whatever, enough of me talking. I'll... That's the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will make more videos in the future. Do not worry. My channel hopefully will not die. And uh, I'll see you guys later in my next video for the YouTube Redemption. Peace out.